Stevie, thank you so much for being with us. I'm sorry for the loss of your friend. When you heard first the news of his death this morning, what went through your mind? Well, it's a, it's a heartbreak. And um, <clears throat> I was shocked. I didn't believe it. As I find it so hard to believe, you know, in this journey of music, uh, we as artists that sort of create the reflection of society um, and reflect really the, the, the people that really want to see a better world, a better people, a unity of people, all those things, as did his music do and will continue to do for those of us who will continue to listen to it. It's a heartbreak to lose a member of that army of love. That army of love. The, the clip that Prince there we showed talking about you on Larry King, saying you were a role model for him, an inspiration to him, particularly when it came to playing his own instruments. I wonder how did Prince influence you? How does he inspire you? Well, he was he was a he was a great musician. Um, he loved music. He loved playing his instrument. And you know the times that we did jam together uh, were amazing with all the various people he would bring together. And most of all, he brought all the various cultures together. Um, he could play classical music if he wanted to. He could play jazz if he wanted to. He could play country if he wanted to. He played rock. You know, he played blues. He played pop, he played you know, everything. He was just a great musician and um, very cognizant of what his responsibility was as a musician and a human being. T today I was watching a recording of a concert that you did in Paris back in 2010. You were performing Superstition. Prince was accompanying you on the guitar. And what I think gets lost sometimes about Prince is, I mean, he wasn't just great you know, songwriter. He was a stellar guitar player, and it wasn't just guitar. He played nearly all the instruments on all on his first five albums. I mean, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing, and you know, it, it, it's fun to do that because basically you're going inside yourself, and you you're really giving people every single part of what you feel. It's what your soul is saying. This is how I want this to be played, and fortunately, I can play it and express myself it's like an artist painting a picture so he was uh, a great artist of um, of picture of sound picture and music and so um, this is an amazing day um, as we see so many things happening uh, the heartbreak is to see this man who was so talented uh, be taken away from us but uh, I know that that you know, the Almighty God has far greater things for him to do uh, eternally. So I just hope that we celebrate his music and celebrate his purpose that he fulfilled. With, with that in mind, that idea of celebrating his music, I know you and Prince sang together at the White House last year. Um, is there a favorite song of yours? Is there something, I, I think you're near a piano, is there anything that comes to your heart, that comes to your head when, in terms of music when you think of him? You know, I love Papa Rain. I love the whole album. It was incredible. But I loved all the stuff that he did. Uh, you know, the song that um, I liked the whole album, but I think I liked Nikki Grind. It was like an interesting kind of song. And um, But again, as people I heard say earlier today uh, on CNN, there was someone that said that he was able to mix uh, the blessing of life of God and, and yet, you know, the marriage of sex and passion. So that's very, very true. He had fun doing it. And, you know, it's, it's rare for me that I can feel, you know, with every single uh, breath, how he just passionately loved Music, it's like when musicians can jam, there's nothing like it in the whole world. I guess it's like when, you know, ball players are playing and they are excited about the game. Well, this is the same thing with us as musicians to be able to say, okay, you can do that, I mean, let me watch me do this, and they can do that, I'll do that. It's just a lot of fun, and he was incredible with that. 
Is there, I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, is there any song you want to sing a little of or play a little of? Or, uh, again, I don't want to put you on the spot if you're not up for it. Yeah, I think I would probably break down it. Okay. If I do a song right now. But, um, you know, he was incredible. And uh, I'm just glad that I was able to say to him, I love you, the last time I saw him. And, and he, he wrote a lot of songs for, for other artists over the years. And he was also a philanthropist, donated instruments for young musicians, was concerned about social justice issues, about... Uh, I mean, he did a lot of a lot of things for charity, and didn't necessarily, you know, get his name associated with that. He did a lot of things anonymously. Well, I think his spiritual commitment was far bigger than, you know, him having to say he did this and he did that. His commitment was in the action of what he did, not with the satisfaction of letting people know that he did it. How do you? I mean, I, I don't know if I should even ask this question because it, it's it's maybe too soon to figure this out and certainly we'll always have the music but how do you hope people remember him just uh, a great musician a great producer great songwriter uh, someone that allowed himself to be himself and encouraged others to be themselves and uh, he was very free, and um, to do what he did without fear was a wonderful thing, because it's always great, it is always great when we don't allow fear to put our dreams to sleep, mm. and he didn't. Uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, thank you so much. And again, I'm sorry we're talking under these circumstances, but uh, it's always an honor. Thank you. Thank you.